Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming and this is from the depths in the normal Netter campaign and area and in this episode I'm back with the Marine Nationale and its various planned armaments and some that have been used and I've got a, been working on missiles and I've got a couple of things I'd like to work on on this particular episode so the general plan is to build a air defense cruiser so the air defense cruiser is going to support um, the other ships in the, the uh, carrier group or other fleet um, at a long range um, anti-air and also short range anti-air local defense um, anti-missile potentially as well um, possibly not anti-submarine that will be a job of a frigate escort etc or some specialist anti-frigate ship uh, sorry anti-submarine ship and what i sort of looked through the available ships and came up with a nice french navy marine national ship and that is the french cruiser colbert so the colbert was first um, commissioned in uh, about night or, or commissioned to come in in 1953 uh, to be built, and it was first built as a, a de Grasse um, cruiser, which had a considerable number of 127 millimeter and 157 millimeter guns, and it was an AA ship, specifically designed for AA. But by the time it was actually brought into the Navy in 1956 and by the 1960s it was in an era of flight where changes were rapidly happening in aircraft and what was okay in end of World War II uh, in the 1950s was soon surpassed and not able to keep up with the increased speed of um, aircraft and their attack systems so um, it was decided in about the 1970s uh, early well 1970 to 1972 to adapt the ship to be a guided missile cruiser I think it was potentially one of the first ones if not the first one in the French fleet not the first one in the um, uh, European theatre but certainly for the French um, and so what they did is they put, um, took off a lot of the guns and slapped on a very big missile system onto the rear for long range anti-air uh, there was some other additional equipment put in there a lot of radar and tracking systems and other anti-ship weapons um, so yeah it was quite a, a, a good powerful ship now it never actually saw what should we say active service well it, the only active service it had was in 1991 in the gulf war but it never actually ever fired a single shot but hey maybe that's good maybe having a ship which scares people into not wanting you to to uh, uh, fire a shot is as good as firing many shots anyway so it was finally came out of service in about 1993 where it was put into as, as a museum ship um, uh, at uh, I'm trying to remember the, the the place it was now anyway it was it was put in the port of Brest I think it was um, as a museum ship for many years but eventually the money ran out and it got uh, taken apart for a lot of spares for other French, ship, French ships and finally scrapped but in this particular video I'm going to concentrate on two particular aspects once I have got the hull built up in the background and the general guns one is going to be the missile system so this will be a large um, multi-cluster missile system uh, designed for long range to do damage to large flying objects not small flying objects small flying objects I say objects, craft that get within close range will be ca carried, uh, taken out by guns. This will be aimed at trying to take out the larger lightning hoods, flying thruster, and aircraft. The other bit, which was posted up by somebody, was um, video screens and using cameras. And I'm going to see if I can create the Colbert as a sort of um, 
uh, sort of run it from first person view so it's going to have a relatively walkable interior within reason but it's going to have the command and control center where you can just sit there and watch the battle unfolding around you well that's the idea at least anyway we will see how it goes but we'll do some video screens and, and uh, just see how that sort of works just bits for um I think it could be interesting running a ship uh, purely in first person view. Anyway, let's finish the uh, the hull off and get our first, I think, to the um, uh, missile systems. With a fair bit of the hull now complete, um, it's ready to look at the next stage. And um, just to say now, I'm going to break the video up into two sections because I'm having a few problems with some weird resource block balance and buoyancy issues on this uh, ship. So um, before I go on to the uh, video screen uh, element, I will uh, uh, have a work at that and see if I can uh, balance it out a little bit better. But that's going to take some time. This is taking a little while longer to build. So this little bit is about creating a large missile system which is the equivalent of the uh, Mercerca French um, miss long range or medium medium long range missile system which is sort of equivalent of the American Terrier system as well so the plan is to put this on the rear now I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to try to map it exactly, um, but there is a couple of options. Uh, now there's going to be two stages to this. First, the actual missile and the cluster missile, and then the detection and aiming system. So we're going to start with the missile. So I'm going to go and start my building. So we don't need um, mirroring here because we're just going to be placing a standard one-axis turret. And uh, we'll have it starting facing backwards, and we'll put the AI down at the bottom here, which will uh, won't need a won't need a failsafe. Actually, I will put a failsafe on there because it stops missiles firing if they are um, damaged on the rails. And then we'll fill that in with some blocks just to add a bit of support around oh, I don't like the looks of those let's um I'm done I've done that and then I'm just gonna cover it anyway so <laughs> anyway right we'll have a four beam coming up there we go now we're gonna put a um elevation only turret so elevation only on top yes with the print there so it can come back a few now I'm gonna possibly cover that up so it can go down a maximum of one two three maximum of three um, if you imagine when it's uh, tipped all the way back a um, few ways of doing this and I've got to allow for the fact I I need to build this wide enough I think I might go for a slightly uh, a wide design because we've got to fit quite a few missiles in here um, let me just have a think um, yeah okay let's go like this if we start with our controller connected here and then it use connectors going out twice and we're gonna put a mirror line on because some because we're going to be building a cluster missile here some parts are going to be showing and some parts are going to be hidden now as far as the missile goes i've got a couple of choices one is obviously medium missiles or large missiles uh firing then with it having attached a medium or large missiles now allowing for the target i'm going for is a large lightning hoods ship um i want to do a fair bit of damage so my carrier missile the, ca the missile that's being carried inside i think should really be a medium sized missile uh to get the basically maximum bang for the buck um and i'm looking at this now and um hmm, 
I'm going to change this a little bit. I think I'm going to have it linked at the top like that. And that's not now connecting, so I'm going to have to rearrange this that way. There we go. That's better. Um, so I'm going to start off with now. Hmm, to start off with a, a medium missile, which will then fire and eject another medium missile. And we'll see how we go with that. Now, I might need to um, create more than one. So we'll start on the edge, I think. Yeah, we'll start on the edge. Uh, going that way. Come back. How many can we come back? We'll come back three. That's five, six, seven. Eight. We'll have it as an eight block missile, and that's going to be the uh, uh, container. And it hasn't put something on there, which means this is not connected for some reason. And is it because I didn't choose a gantry? Oh, I didn't choose a launcher. That's better. And now I'll choose the gantry. Must have got the, the, there we go, that's better. Right, uh, and let's think about the end missile. How big, how many, how many blocks have we got here? One, two, three. So I could put it um, here. Hmm. Okay, the end missile, let's, let's, let's think of the end. The, the last missile, I just want to be fast um, and only go about a thousand meters. It doesn't have to go very far. So let's just see how, and it, it can be relatively small. I think that's going to be too small. Let's see, let's put, I might have to change this again actually. Let, let, let's, let's build it and then see what it's going to end up like. So. That's a three block missile. Is that going to be enough? Uh, no, I think I'm going to need at least four blocks. So uh, we have short range thruster, couple of fins, uh, and uh, we're going to have this. I'm thinking here go for a shape charge head uh, with explosives and a little EMP like that and it's gonna be remote guidance something so what's our we got a very high speed which is good I like that high speed that means it's gonna go um, fairly quick now unfortunately I've got no it's not giving me any internal fuel so I'm gonna have to put fuel in it that's annoying so I have to put fuel in it's giving me two seconds 2.8 which is giving me 1200 um, meters a little bit less than that so a thousand meters maximum range that's okay this is gonna be the last moment BAM and hit I'm not happy though with that single fin uh, what have we got as far as our damage and uh, penetration? So at the moment, we've only got 15 heat metric. If we take that up, um, we don't want to go through metal plus a little bit. Yeah, okay, let's take it up to 31. So that's, a, that's, a, that's got a good penetration. If I change that, just I'll just put that there just a, as a test. Actually, that's still got 29 as a penetration heat metric. And um, EMP damage, uh, sorry, and we're still doing a bit of EMP damage. So I could do something like... that um, so we've got almost 30 damage frag damage isn't that great I would prefer or go full explosive that's that's better 
let's just compare that on the the 499 um, going up to 698 so that's 200 so it's giving me 50 percent more for one explosive how much does it give me 698 to 861 that's giving me 160 so it's reducing down 50% give or take uh, free ex I think I'd rather have something a little bigger and more power so let's go for this instead shape charge So I can either have the I, I want the I want the penetration. This is the main bit. I want to go through the uh, the body of the, the system and really um, do some damage on the internals. I want to try and take out the internals of this uh, vehicle, not necessarily the um, externals. The idea being, it may knock it out of the air, etc. Um, okay, this isn't too bad. Speed is 389. We've still got 2.8 speed, which means it's um, about, no, let's, let's say, 900 meters range, give or take a small amount. Okay, so that's going to have to be our, our carried missile. Uh, it's on 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So this block can't go there if I'm going to have a lid like that so okay change again i'm gonna need to come forward three according to that i think because uh, how low could i go if i'm gonna block that up one two three oh i could go down four maximum so um, at the moment i'm down one two three four five all right so i haven't got to go that far forward if i go here and Let's, 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 let's maximize this it's better to go a, a little too far forward um, and then I, I can adjust it rather than not going far enough Alright, some other bits we will put uh, at the front. We've got, we've got a bit of space around here. I can, I'm actually going to uh, extend this, these connectors back a little bit so that on the top I've got some room to put things in such as uh, staggered fire. So put that directly on top and friend or foe. Uh, just in case on the front as well and the stagger we want to have a good stagger because I don't want these uh, Going close to each other Right next so that leaves us three block meter no four one two three meters to Set up and I've just realized on here. There's one thing I haven't put I didn't put the ejector so on this I've got to put the Munition ejector now that actually does allow me to have fuel in here so now I can set fuel and we're down to 2.1 seconds of fuel. So by putting that cluster munition ejector, I'm, I've reduced my fuel or let's do it this way. We'll put the cluster ejector in the EMP and then change this free internal space to be EMP. So I've reduced my EMP damage a little bit, but I, I've still got that range uh, and power for the fuel. Um, so basically using your cluster mun mun munition ejector is what's needed in the uh, carried missile and that also sets uh, can be used for or gives you internal space which you can use for fuel so you can replace a either fuel or warhead in a um, in your design and replace it with this internal um, uh, system you know to emp pechi etc 
Right, okay, oh, let's just do a copy to all. Now, I've set this up with two, but I could theoretically, I think there's, a, there's the possibility of making this a, a quad launcher, but we'll start with two just for um, accuracy boat, um, okay, testing, and then work backwards. Now, the actual missile needs five meter container length and 0.245 volume. So in here, we're gonna go for here a laser designated um, missile. And then we're gonna need containers. We'll take the containers back until we have got uh, our five meters, or it's actually gonna be 4.5, because then we'll need a controller. So at the moment, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that will give us um, oh, yeah, weirdness. I have to come out and back in, and then it gives you the cluster launching. So that's one of those little weird bugs. Uh, adding in that the controller or whatever c container it is, this here doesn't show until. Anyway, um, we seem to have eight modules, which is four meters. And what did we need? Uh, I think I need five meters. I need five, five meters, 0.245. Okay, so I need to actually do a cut one, uh, another one, container extension, container extension, and then controller. So we now have five meters and a container length of 2, 0.245. Let's just make sure that's big enough. Two, four, five. So, fingers crossed that should hold that. Now, um, next thing we'll have bowable thruster. We're not going to have this. Has just got to go a long distance. I want to see what we can get as far as distance. Speed um, would be good, and we're going to have a little bit of a delay on the the uh, guidance, and we'll have a there right okay so ultimately i would like this to go about 4000 meters as a maximum range if we deduct the 1000 meters that the contained missile can do we need this to go about 3000 meters now we've got 20 seconds and i want it to go fairly high speed so let's get this let's just go down to our 20 seconds uh we'll take it down to 19 19 seconds Allowing for the fact we're going to get a little bit of ramp time on that. We're actually going to get about 19.5 seconds. So that's going to do um, 179 meters a second. We'll start with the, the zero meter max speed. And uh, so that's 1,790 times two is nearly... 4,000 meters. So in actual fact, I think I can go a little faster than that. If I'm allowing, uh, let's say I want 3,500. Um, oh, not much though, actually. Um, let's say 3,500 is really what I want. Let's, let's say we'll, we'll take it down to 500 meters is the is the the range I want to release the missile at, um, ideally. Uh, but yeah, 3,000 meters. 3,000 meters would be okay. So um, let's see if I go down to 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, that gets us up to a good 200, and that's going to be 3,000 meters, give or take a little bit. And the last 1,000 meters could be by the missile, potentially. Um, on occasion, it might just run out of steam. Sometimes it's done a hit at that very long range, but if it's firing at a, a target which is, I think most targets are going to be between two to three thousand meters, that will be fine, I think. Okay, so that's there, correct? Next, um, so it's not it's not very agile, but I don't need it to be. I just want it to point at the rear of the uh, enemy aircraft and then fire the missile straight up the rear end of the enemy would be good. Right, the container controller. So, distance to target. Now, we'd already said 500 meters. So, yeah, I think at 500 meters, it launches the enemy craft. And the smart distance, so if the craft is getting away from me, 
uh, we'll set that at 600 meters so if I've got to 600 meters and it is going away from me for any reason it will immediately release the missile the final bit is what if the, the targets maximum range we want this to release at the 15 seconds now I'm gonna change this to be just above because we have a ramp up time um, or actually I could just deduct the ramp up time but we'll go 15.5 so at 15.5 it will release the missile regardlessly don't need drop stagger on this because we've only got one missile we don't need a size difference because <laughs> there's only again one missile um, drop above altitude drop a below altitude we haven't got to worry about those because um, uh, that isn't relevant to this particular missile this could be used for a bombing style missile ie it fires high and as it goes down like a cluster bomb once it reaches a particular goes below an altitude of say 50 meters it releases its missiles so that could be a way you work with a uh, uh, a cluster mu munition the same with one that's firing at targets at altitude almost like a fragment missile so um, this fires up and then just shoots everything out at say 2,000 meters etc anyway we're not going to worry about that for this particular missile right copy to all matching missiles and one thing I just want to check on here is on the cluster munition ejector speed inheritance let's just clean that up so you can see that a little bit neater so if i click on cluster munition ejector um the speed inheritance is one so this is the speed of the enemy of the the missiles drop so if you're doing a cluster bomb you might want them to be um what's the best way of putting it like a retarded one so they 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 go out slower and they drop behind or you might want it to in this case inherit the speed of the main missile because we we're going at a fair old speed here um yeah we want the maximum speed to be so we just start at 200 meters and then it'll accelerate up to the 400 as it targets the uh, missile that's the hope um now looks wise i need to do something with this because it's okay then just gonna test make sure this if we just rotate it down Whoop, that's the idle elevation we're not gonna start yeah I think that's okay and we'll have the idle elevation say at, uh, 20 degrees there we go now a couple of other bits on this just this is little bits I found when creating these missiles now with a missile turret the missile will try to aim ahead of the target so it'll aim a little bit ahead which is not necessarily what we want i want this to aim directly at the target so the best way i found of doing that is put a laser combiner facing forward onto the the turret it can go anywhere so just to keep it out of the way I shall put it um, I'll just put it on the front that's, that's fine that's out of the way there and that will then make the turret point directly at the target um, that's now useful in the controller because I can now set the accuracy to be a nice tight five degrees so that means it will wait until this is aiming within five degrees of the target before it fires out the other bit let's just set up some um, limits for our turret because uh, we don't have it facing backwards uh, maximum altitude let's see we're going to have, let's say we're going to go over to about 40 degrees off the vertical. We'll, we'll try that, see if it, hopefully it won't hit anything. 
and this will say we don't want it we, we've got to allow for a little bit of roll on the on the ship but we're generally not going to be firing downwards we're mainly going to be firing up so we just give it a two degrees and going up we'll say 89 that should do and then actually what I'm gonna do is I t to stop the uh, elevation turret going a bit weird I always tend to copy from one to the other and I'll just set that back to I think it was 20 wasn't it there we go so that's the idle uh, I'll make this look a little bit better I think um, okay Let's that's see. a that's a a starting point for the missile sort of looking a little bit correct I can might might move those top ones the uh, the friend and foe etc maybe put them somewhere else but we sort that one out once I've finalized the missile and make sure this is gonna work and we're not gonna I'm not gonna change it to be a, a large missile because the other option of course on this I would say of course but and the other option on this is to make a large missile instead of just relying on medium missiles and it could fire out say four of these onto the target which has certain yummy possibilities but it would take a long time to reload and would be good for potentially only two shots so mm, but it's a it's a good idea okay let me the next stage is gonna have to be uh, targeting because um, we haven't set this up we're, we only set this up to use the standard uh, targeting and uh, we haven't given it any laser we said then I use a laser but we haven't given it a laser to use so what we're going to create is an AI and a targeting system purely for use on this missile so it's totally separate from the main AI of the ship so let's start off with an AI we've got a nice little section here which is going to be the container for like the complete um, um, Makaras um, Masuka, sorry, Masuka system. So we'll start with a transmitter running on channel two, and uh, we are going to give it a name now. Of uh, let's make sure I've got the name Masuka, and we're gonna need let's see what else we're gonna, we don't need plenty of connectors um, also we're gonna need to get targeting information from um, from the main ship I think so we're gonna get targeting information there so we've only really almost we will put a um, some source not targeting some uh, initial scanning but I think most of it will be um, I think I'm gonna need more than that let's just go down one more and then put some more down and also I'm gonna need a targeting block so we'll put a AI card slot um, and put that there and then put that on top and then put a target prioritization there so target prioritization if we set all to zero will be um, high altitude uh, high speed and fairly large and, and if given a choice we just put those up um, a little bit and long range there we go so that that will be our prioritization so long range high altitude targets is our priority now we're gonna need we'll create the primary we're gonna have two uh, detection systems or uh, 
not detection, there's going to be the fire control, the laser designators for the system. So we're going to start with that and we'll put a wireless receiver on uh, just down below and make sure that is set to channel 2. And then on top of here, new object, we're going to have a turret, one axis pointing backwards, start off backwards, and then we're going to put a whole load of detection on this. So we're going to have to start off with this set to channel 2. Now the whole idea here is to get as much track, accurate tracking information onto that target as possible, as well as um, the we do not need a missile laser beam so we don't need a, a controller so if I put that on there and then a laser emitter on the front and set it to uh, vehicles my vehicles uh, yeah my vehicles only so that should fire out that laser at the target and we'll set the accuracy to 45 degrees that is fine for that uh, try and aim at the target now we will have to continue with getting targeting information so what choices have we got for detection because um, they look reasonable we we'll put a five meter coincidence it also allows us to connect things onto it and then um, Let's see, how about a laser range finder tracker with a radar tracker just in front and camera gimbal on the top? No, not, not happy with those looks. Let's, um, let's put a connector here and then put our... detectors on the side so we put one camera oops there and a radar there and allowing for the fact that this can't point directly up although our target might be directly up I need to leave this gap so nothing goes on the top so that this laser will point directly up if I put a block there um, it will block the sight of the laser. So this front bit's got to be open. So's this bit. Okay, now I can put some, make it look at least reasonable. So Right, I think that should be able to target the enemy. Now let's just make sure we've got enough. Now I've got to allow, I need some GPP points for these. So it should be, I think it's one uh, per missile, but we'll, detect, we'll check that once it's started to fire. Now range wise, um, I don't know the range. We know it's gonna be 4,000 meters. So we're gonna set this to have a range of say from, we'll say 2,000 out to 4,000 for the moment and it's got to be flying at least at 10 uh, 20 meters 20 meters high let's say speed not worried about okay and we'll copy that over to our detector but we're going to add a little bit to this because um, in case it goes a little bit further away or a little below dips down it will keep targeting the enemy and also I think I will give it a block so we need this we don't want it going for very small targets and wasting these missiles so let's say it's going to be 2,000 um, blocks and that's going to be the same on here as well maybe 2,000 so, this is to, so it's going to be the larger um, enemy aircraft on this okay this is a starter um, let's give it 
see what happens when it see if it will fire for a start <laughs> that's always a starting point now I'm gonna the other weapons may also join in and I don't have any shield so I think on the enemy I will um, turn it off the their combat so I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to go right let's just start with a standard Thunderbird as a starting point and in the AI turn its um, weapons off now has is it actually oh no okay so the la that laser has it's a little close actually okay let's just change this here to be uh, 1,800 as well so our normal guns are actually firing at it at this uh, moment uh, I don't know if we're actually in combat mode at all um, no we're not in combat mode at this time I'll put myself into combat mode Just so that it will try and aim. Actually, our, our normal 57 millimeters are um, giving that quite a a good pacing. Uh, okay, let's 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 change these. Just to test, but we're supposed to be testing the missiles. So let's change these uh, distances to be 1,000 for the moment, and set this to be about 1,200. Okay, missile away. Let's go and try follow it. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Has he blown it up already? Hmm. Okay, that could be an issue if he is blowing up our missiles before they get a chance to uh, fire at the enemy. So with a quad launcher now firing out at a reasonable range, I've also changed the missiles to be variable thrust at maximum rather than the short range. They're just a little bit more agile, although in that particular case, they all went for the wrong point, which is a problem I'm suddenly sometimes getting with the remote guidance. If it goes outside of the angle of the controller, Mm, it loses guidance uh, to the missiles. They stop guiding. They're, they're fine when it's directly side on. You can see they've got a nice guidance control there. One got taken out and three went in. Nice bit of EMP. Definitely giving it some problems control wise, uh, which means the guns could have a nice go at. at uh, taken out and the guns are actually working pretty effectively actually once it's in this close range so the only thing I've got to work out is that that guidance stopped working which is going to come down to I think um, uh, because I think it's this turret I think I'm gonna have to make this uh, turret have fairly much all aspect guide guidance um, on it I'm going to try it like that so there's a slight minor bit at the very front where it wouldn't control it and I've also got to make sure that this is set to do um, all round access as well I think so this will yeah that just that just targets no matter what um, and hopefully this will allow it to target it but um okay generally it's working it the missiles are still a little bit underwhelming it's, it's certainly better at longer range um, the missiles aren't great uh, but they are targeting it okay as another salvo goes off there is a maybe put a large missiles with so it contain eight of those but uh, I think it would just not it wouldn't reload quick enough I've set it to full salvo at the moment so all the missiles have to load before it fires it does get an initial firing at the target which seems to help damage it 
and but the guns are still what kill it at this uh, close range but it's it's okay now before I go on and obviously you can leave any comments whether you think maybe a, a large missile anyone got any experience with other missile si sizes this looks okay reloads reasonably as I say the, the damage is very underwhelming but maybe that will get fixed so it's still a a viable attack method against the lightning hoods it is sort of working um, it's, as I say, it's just not doing as much damage as I would have liked, so shall we say. I'm going to put in another sensor unit to help with sensing, uh, to ensure that we get a good average position error here. This position area was low as possible for the missiles. Basically, the more detector units you've got the more it's going to average out the detection range to be hopefully correct so it will be more accurate uh, that's the hope um, on the ship build in general I have got some other missiles like some versions of Exocet for ground uh, uh, attacking targets which are on the surface and I've still got a lot of space in here I've got this space here which is a going to be the crew area so any suggestions as to what should go into this crew area here uh, just to give it fill it out with a, a few little items or some examples I, I think would be good and I'll put that in the other area is I've got this very big area down here at the moment which is basically unused just acting as buoyancy at the moment um, now it hasn't got much uh, it's got a few small entrances to the top but any ideas of what I would I could put in there that's a little hidden could work for the um, uh, the vessel this has become quite a large vessel I haven't finished it yet and we're already at 27 resources and more importantly is the volume of 24 25k so I do want this to be a main vessel and not just an escort so I need it to be a little bit more powerful um, so any suggestions what could go in here either it's going to come out the center or potentially the side but one thing is I don't want to spoil the shape I still have to put some masts on the back here and this second detector but I don't want to totally destroy the look I might also put a helicopter launch pad on the back with potentially a um, drone helicopter for anti-sub warfare usage and general healing of the main ship um, you can let me know what you might think of that I, I think that could be a, a reasonable idea the um, exocets just fired off at the uh, grounded Thunderbird it's not firing back at me at the moment and I will be putting pretty heavy shields on this I think I'm gonna go for a lot of power and have pretty heavy shielding against the lasers I can't use smoke because I'm using the laser emitter if I don't uh, because I'm using the laser emitter it would get blocked by my own smoke so that would be no good um, other bits would be potentially have an in-between so this is a, a medium long-range missile maybe I need a missile system which is just these ones just the um, uh, end ones which only fire at targets say less than 2,000 meters or 1500 meters so when it's close in have a, a close in missile system but I was trying this was intended to be a long range anti-missile system not a close range anti-missile system uh, so uh, anyway let me know what you think leave some comments and some suggestions um, I haven't finished this I will do a second video specifically on whatever comes up as ideas for fitting in the center um, and finishing off with the trying to make it so it's controlled from the so this is going to be the control room I have and 
with screens etc um, and that will be in the other video and we'll try to control it from here instead of um, from the top just purely with control blocks I must we have two versions of the ship one a totally autonomous version which is controlled by control blocks and AI and the second one which is more controlled by the player in that, that command and control room um, hopefully it will work maybe it will won't be it won't we'll soon find out anyway as always comments down below and keep playing the game and have fun